I have another fascinating story to tell you. This is a story on the health benefit from low dose radiation. I have so much to tell, so I will use um, a few slides to cover the entire story. Most people who are against nuclear energy mainly because they fear radiation. They fear radiation because uh, they think radiation will cause cancer no matter how low the radiation level is. This is a wrong perception. People think that uh, radiation will cause cancer no matter how low the radiation level is. It's based on the extrapolation from the radiation victim of war world two and uh, from the victim of um, uh, nuclear accidents uh, such as uh, the chernobyl accident uh, during those accidents high uh, radiation doses people did die from uh, cancer caused by the radiation but there is no data for the very low radiation level to tell what will happen to a human body biologically. The medical industry and the radiation health professionals have adopted the concept that low radiation will still cause cancer no matter how low the level it is, as if there uh, was no uh, threshold at the bottom. So, I would like to tell a story, a true story on the low-dose radiation and what it will do to a human body. I will today only report uh, the scientific data without any of my personal uh, uh, opinion. The, uh, the story uh, started in 1980s in Taiwan, 10,000 uh, residents in these contaminated apartment buildings uh, uh, were involved. In Taiwan, there were 180 such apartment buildings that were contaminated. The cause for the contamination was believed that a cobalt-60 radioactive element was somehow got mixed with the steel used to make the re reinforce uh, concrete as the building materials for these uh, apartments. These uh, apartments uh, were all torn down eventually, and the government uh, com compensated for the condemned uh, properties. The source of the contamination was the gamma ray from Cobalt 60. On the average, uh, the receipt accumulated those for, for all these residents uh, covering the entire 20 years was uh, between one to four uh, sieverts. All of them were medically uh, followed uh, and uh, well documented. To me, this is a scientifically qualified uh, story or study. Let me uh, tell you uh, how the story uh, ended. Statistically, I mean statistically, or in the medically, for 10,000 people on the average, any 10,000 people, uh, for this uh, case, uh, uh, 10,000 people in Taiwan, the cancer mortality is 200 32 people on the average. But for this 10,000 residents, affected contaminated residents, only seven die of cancer. I was very surprised that we will see these numbers. Medical professors and the researchers, totally 14 of them, collectively published a paper on this story, this is the publication. To me, this is one unique, important, self-consistent 
and the scientific study that unmistakably indicates that um, the low level radiation will bring some health benefits. In the United States, the National Council on Radiation Protection and the Measurements with the DOE and the several other national organizations have participated uh, in a study on how the radiation would affect people biologically uh, by studying all the workers who had to work under radiation environments. It was so happened that uh, the total number of uh, these workers slightly uh, exceeds um, 1 million. So it, uh, it has been called the 1 million person study. It covers the time for the last uh, 70 years. And this is an ongoing effort. Two months ago, the American Academies of Sciences issued a document on revitalizing low dose radiation research in the United States. American Nuclear Society is also playing a leading role on uh, this uh, low dose uh, radiation, uh, which is ongoing research and education effort with the goal of closing the gap between radiation protection regulations and the, the state of the art scientific uh, knowledge. The main point is that um, the scientific communities began to realize that this subject could not be ignored because there are simply too much stake in it to ignore it. Uh, the, health, uh, the, the health benefit uh, are at stake. I wish um, all the nuclear professionals and the, the scientific communities uh, should keep a very, very open mind about this subject. We need to do a lot of uh, uh, studies uh, to confirm the required scientific basis to uh, identify the level of the radiation where the health benefit uh, could be identified uh, and um, likely the regulations on the radiation dose limit should be properly revised. Most of the subjects 